of the single greatest witch hunt of all time. We have a rogue judge who rules that properties are worth a tiny fraction, one one hundred, a tiny fraction of what they actually are. We have a racist attorney general who's a horror show who ran on the basis that she was going to get Trump before she even knew anything about me. She used this to run for governor. She failed in her attempt to run for governor. She had virtually no polling. She came back and she said, well, now I'll go back to get Trump again. And this is what we have. It's a scam. It's a sham. Just so you know, my financial statements are phenomenal. They are actually less in terms of the numbers used than the actual net worth. The actual net worth is substantially more. No bank was affected. No bank was hurt. They don't even know why they have to be involved. And they've so testified. They can't believe that they're involved because they were paid back on time. There were no defaults. There were no problems. And it was like a perfect client. In the meantime, people are being murdered all over the sidewalks of New York. There was no victim here. The banks were represented by the best, biggest, most prestigious law firms in the state of New York, actually in the country. Some of the biggest and best law firms, in all cases, the biggest and best law firms. That's who represented them. The banks got back their money. Again, there was never a default. There was never a problem. Everything was perfect. There was no crime. The crime is against me because we have a corrupt district attorney, but we have a corrupt attorney general. And it all comes down from the DOJ. They're totally coordinated this in Washington because I'm leading. I'm the leading candidate. I'm leading Biden by 10 points. And I'm leading the Republicans by 50 and 60 points. That's pretty much, they say, over. I never accept that, but they say it's over. This has to do with election interference, plain and simple. They're trying to damage me so that I don't do as well as I'm doing in the election. Our country's gone to hell. We're a country that's in decline, serious decline. We have a man running our country who has no clue, doesn't know what he's doing, and you know it better than anybody because you have to cover him what they've done with open borders, what they've done with interest rates and taxes. It's a disgrace. So what we have here is an attempt to hurt me in an election. It's an attempt to hurt me in an election. This never happened before, where President of the United States leaves office and gets indicted. And the reason I got indicted was that I ran. If I didn't run, I'd be sitting right now at a beach like Biden does every time, even though he's supposed to be working. So very simply put, it's a witch hunt. It's a disgrace. We have a corrupt attorney general in this state. You see how she does. This trial was railroaded and fast-tracked. This trial could have been brought years ago, but they waited till I was right in the middle of my campaign. The same with other trials and indictments. It's all run by DOJ, which is corrupt in Washington. Everything goes through them. They're all corrupt people. Frankly, our country is corrupt. And that's one of the reasons I'm running. We're going to straighten it out. They have one property that's worth anywhere from 50 to 100 times what this judge put down as a value. Put down a value, $18 million. And the property's probably worth could be anywhere from 50 to 100 times more than that. And a lot of those numbers could even be low. We have other properties, the same thing. So he devalued everything. I didn't even put in my best asset, which is the brand, in terms of value. Coca-Cola, take a look at their value. They have a value. The value of their brand is more than everything else put together. My brand is extremely valuable. I didn't even use it in my financial statement. If I wanted to build up a financial statement, I would have built it up by using brand in addition to everything else. We have the greatest properties. We have among the greatest properties in the world, and I have to go through this. 
for political reasons. This judge is a politician. He comes out of the clubs. He's running unopposed. The reason he's unopposed is because he's getting Trump. They always run opposed. He's getting Trump. The bosses say, don't run against this guy. He's doing great. He's getting Trump. But he overplayed his hand, and he should be investigated for what he's done. What he did in undervaluing these properties is a disgrace to our nation. This shouldn't be a case. One other thing. We have a clause in the contract which tells, essentially, buyer beware. The contract is very, very — if you take a look and you speak to the banks, and you will, I hope you speak to the banks, because the banks got paid in full. I hope you speak to the banks. But we have a clause in the contract. It's like a buyer beware clause. It says, when you take a look at the financial statement, don't believe anything you read. This is up front. Don't believe anything you read. Some people call it a worthless clause because it makes the statement and anything you read in the statement worthless. It says, go out and do your own research. Go out and do your own due diligence. You have to study the statement carefully. Do not believe anything. In fact, it's so strong that people read it and they don't even <coughs> accept it. They don't even want it. They don't even use it. It's called a disclaimer clause. It's very common. If you put it in, if you don't have time to do statements, or even if you do have time, people like to have it. This is what's called a full disclaimer. We disclaim the financial statements. But even with a full disclaimer, which immediately takes you out of any fraud situation and any litigation. And by the way, when the Attorney General found out about the disclaimer clause, she said, that's okay, let's go forward anyway. It's good publicity. These are corrupt people we're dealing with, the most corrupt people. We have a great company. I built a great company. It's got tremendous value. It's got some of the greatest real estate assets in the world. And now I have to go before a rogue judge as a continuation of Russia, 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 as a continuation of the greatest witch hunt of all time. And I don't think the people of this country are going to stand for it. If I weren't leading in all the polls, or if I weren't running, I wouldn't have any of these cases. I wouldn't be seeing you this morning. But I'll be seeing a lot of you, because this is a horrible thing that's happening to our country and we've got to get it straightened away. So we'll go in and see our rogue judge, and we'll listen to this man. And uh, I think most people get it. People are getting it. I can tell you the voters getting it, because every time they give me a fake indictment, I go up in the polls, and that's never happened before. But this is a disgrace. And you ought to go after this attorney general, because she's turning off everybody from coming in. You know, I don't know if you take a look at the outflow of business. Businesses are fleeing New York because of horrible, horrible attorney generals and judges like we have. They go to other places where they can be treated fairly and with respect. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody back up.